We've been describing motion using our normal everyday language throughout our whole lives. In physics, we sometimes have to be a little bit more careful, so let's just take a few moments to recap some of the concepts we've introduced and look carefully at their definitions. So we normally describe motion in the real world in three dimensions, and that's a little bit tricky. So for this discussion, we'll just talk about traveling along in a particular straight line. And as Ernest has already discussed, what we need to do in order to describe that, we need to be able to say where things are. So we need some kind of coordinates. So we have a zero in position. And then if we're at a particular position up here, we say that we are a distance X from that origin. And that position might change over time if we're moving around. So one of the things we have to be careful about to distinguish in physics is the difference between displacement and distance. Supposing I started at the origin and I traveled all the way over here and then turned around and came all the way back to here. And so I ended up at that point there. Now, if I'm there, the question you might ask is how far did I travel? And there are two perfectly reasonable answers to that. One answer says, well, I traveled that amount of distance and then I traveled this bit back. And so I have to add that together. So I add those together and that's how far I traveled. Another perfectly reasonable answer is, well, I only got that far. So that's how far I traveled. And those two answers are given different names in physics. The one where we have the long trip is called the distance you traveled. And this difference between where you started and where you ended is called the displacement.